Hello guys, we're going to take a look now at, we're still at the second chapter and take a look now at the oscillator. After, after um, finishing the training indicators, we took a look at the main training indicators like Bollinger Bands, Commodity Channel Index, also known as the CCI and Moving Averages. Now we're going to take a look at the oscillators. This category of, um, of oscillators actually um, it is well represented. As you can see in here, we have a lot of oscillators under the MetaTrader 4 and also, also under the custom indicators there are a lot of oscillators as well. There are, if you go over the internet and try to look for other, other indicators in this category, you'll, you'll see that actually there are, there are hundreds of them. I choose to, I choose to show you uh, only three. There is Williams percentage range, Ichimoku Kinko Hiyo and the Relative Strength Index. Why? Because those are the most important in my, in my view. And um, needless to say, even if you, if you uh, will try to uh, develop your own style, there is try to, to look for having your own strategies, strategy based on, on using one or two oscillators. You cannot use them all in, um, in, uh, in the same time. So let's start with the, the Williams percent percentage range. So just click on insert indicators, oscillators in here, and this is the Williams percentage range. And if you click, if you click on it, actually these are the default settings for the uh, for the indicator with the minus 20 and minus 80 on the 14 period, and this is the dodger blue. And of course, that we want to be uh, visualized on all time frames and just click OK in here and this is this is how it looks and this is, and these are the settings for the whole uh, for the whole um, brokers that you um, that you might that you might um, find on the web the default settings now the normal interpretation of this Williams percentage range first of all it travels from 0 to minus 100 so it is always a negative value you will find under this oscillator what the normal interpretation of it is that everything that um, that uh, stays above minus 20 is considered to be a bullish uh, standoff and everything that stays below 80 is considered to be a uh, a bearish standoff and take a look at take a look at the price so the price the price coming down in here for example and then the Williams travels into the minus 80 and then stays into this into this uh, negative territory while price still uh, still coming down. It depends very much on on um, on how you look at uh, at the oscillators. There are uh, these oscillators. There are a lot of strategies out there regarding the Williams percentage range. For example, one of uh, one of the main things uh, some traders do they try to they try to sell where uh, when uh, the oscillator is at the extremes. At the, at the extreme high to sell and at the extreme low to buy. So, for example, they try to initiate a long, posi long position in here, where, where the sorry, a short position. So, a short position in here, like this, when actually the oscillator it is in this area, or trying to uh, trying to go into a long position. In here, when the oscillator enters the uh, enters the um, the extremes on the other side, so this is just one one way to use it. From my point of view, not necessarily the best, because you can see in here if you try to if you try to uh, go long in here when uh, when the oscillator travels into the into the uh, the lower part of, of its range then you might stay in this in this divergence in this negative divergence for even a long time so you might find that difficult you might find that being difficult for your for your account um, other interpretations are for example this is a one hour chart so other other interpretations are for example as long as as long as the oscillator stays in the upper part of the channel so there is in the minus 20 area in here then as long the as long as the oscillator stays like this and makes let's say a a horizontal channel line then uh, the price will keep rising and vice versa so let's take a trend line in here and try to outline 
what, uh, what we are trying to say. So in here, as you can see, the oscillator actually travels in a small channel but in a horizontal channel, but the price travels to the upside. So this is something that you that you want to take into consideration. So I, until the oscillator, so until the oscillator breaks this uh, this uh, bullish uh, stance, the price will keep rising. Now the same is valid to the downside. For example, let us pick an example in uh, in here. So take a look in here. If you take a trend line like this, so as long as the oscillator stays in this negative territory that is below or, or close to minus 80 then the price will just keep uh, keep, keep falling and then coming back to uh, coming back to the present uh, to the present price once again to put into perspective if you if you look for example for the oscillator to um, when it makes a horizontal line like this so stays on a horizontal line and above the 24 a long time then that would mean that the price will rise but if you look at the oscillator being at below minus 80 or around the minus 80 and staying in there not not being able to break this area to go to the upside then the price will just will just go to the downside so a horizontal stands for for this oscillator in these extremes means that the price will travel now, this is a um, this is a good this is a good indicator, and I find it extremely extremely uh, useful. Why? Because let me go I don't know somewhere back in uh, back in the history. Because, for example, in here, never and um, and keep that in mind. Never does price starting to move into a direction, for example, into this direction and um, to stay in here, it will never do this until it is confirmed by Williams and, usual, and sometimes, sometimes the, uh, the Williams percentage rate just, uh, just indicates future price movements for example, take a look in here and the price, the price coming from the upside makes a huge leap to the downside and what we discussed earlier, as long as the oscillator stays in here, into this negative territory, the, pl the price keeps, keep, keeps coming down. So actually, from let's take a vertical line in here and put it on the chart like this. Let's change the color a little bit. Let's make it uh, white. And with this, with this trend line, we are marking the time. Take a look in here. This is, uh, this is a time element and we are marking the time. So from this moment that the oscillator it is actually to the upside in here and breaking into this uh, minus 80 area so from this moment of time actually for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13 candles 14, 16 candles so we've counted it in the candles like this 16 candles and then one trick to learn on uh, on, um, on the MetaTrader if you, if you push your uh, if you press the control button on your keyboard and double click on any element that you have on the chart it, it will actually copy it so see I just copied the, the vertical line just to um, just to mark the time, the time element so if you measure this time element you can do you can do for example when you count something you can count just the candles like I like I counted in here one by one but what what do you do when you want to count to count uh, um, a large number of candles then you have uh, if you have a mouse with that wheel I also presented you this uh, crosshair okay but if you click whenever you click and click and drag and basically from that moment that you click until you stop you put your mouse on, on one candle and the first uh, the first number in, in there you see in this case it is 30, 30 means the numbers of candles that you that you want to select, or 33, 34, something like this, and uh, and uh, there um, there is the count that helps you um, identify how many candles are, are in, in a specific range. In our case, in here we have something like if you take the crosshair so from this can this candle counting to this candle, there are 17 candles. This is an hourly chart, so actually we are looking at 17 hours 
when the price, when the Williams stayed into this area to the downside, and the price just coming back to the downside. Now, look at look at how the uh, how the oscillator is behaving, breaking into the into the minus twenty. So price trying to uh, trying to recover a little bit, not even talking about these highs, okay? But this is a a small bullish sign, so, so to say, in otherwise a bearish market, and the price is trying to recover with the Williams going to that to that uh, to that extreme. So once again, as long as Williams stays in here, like this, then the price travels to the downside. The vice versa it is being the vice versa it is being on the other case. As long the, as Williams stays to the upside in here, then the price travels actually to uh, to uh, to the upside. So this was a short, uh, a short review of Williams percentage range, and the next video will deal with the Chimoku Kinko here again, one of my uh, favorites. Take care and stay safe.